how you can install GSIs on Android devices with dynamic partitions. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install GSIs on Android devices with dynamic partitions. And the process will work even if you have a device with A only slot or if you have a device with two slots, which is AB. Do note, the process will show you how to flash a GSI on your device with dynamic partition. This does not guarantee that the GSI is going to boot but the process of flashing a gsi using a computer for a device with a dynamic partition with a or a b slot is the process which i am going to show you in this video now what are the things which you need you of course need access to a computer because we are going to use fast boot for this process then all the links which are required all the files everything is in the description of this video so first of all here is a file which has all the commands which we need then you need a vb meta file do note this is an image file and either you can download it from google or you can find it in the fast boot rom for your specific device next thing we need is adb and fast boot and this here is platform tools for windows again i do recommend that you download this from the official android developers website and the last thing you need is a gsi and we are going to use the pixel 3 beta 4 gsi and do note most gsis which are available there from custom rom developers or third party developers or i think even from google are in an archive format and you do need to unarchive them which is the next step which we are going to do in this video so you also need a software which will let you unarchive files i am using winrar you are free to use any software which you want to and all you need to do is first of all unzip this platform tools so right click on it and say extract to the platform tools folder and as you can see we now have a folder with that name next thing we need to extract is this gsi which we have so again right click on this and say extract to pixel 5 or pixel 4 or whatever the file name is so now that everything has been extracted let us go inside this folder so here then you have the image file you see type is disk image file so this is our gsi then we can go back to the main folder and go inside this platform tools folder here then you have another folder go inside this and once you are inside the platform tools folder you are going to have adb you have adb over here and then you should also have fast boot over here so you have adb fast boot everything is inside this folder go back to the main folder where you have everything first of all we need to move this vb meta file to the platform tools folder so i'm going to right click and say cut and then go inside this platform tools folder and paste the file over here so now i have the vb meta file inside the same folder wherein i have my adb and fast boot now we can go back to our main folder and go inside the gsi folder which we have extracted and we are going to do the same thing with the gsi image as well cut this and then go back to our main folder then we can go into our platform tools and paste it over here now the next thing we are going to do is we are going to rename this file so right click on the gsi and select rename and just give it the name system and if you have your extensions enabled in windows give it the name system.img give it the name system.img do not enter .img.img twice in my case the extensions are not enabled so by default the extension will be .img and here it is you can see this is our system we have vb meta here and we also have another thing which is your adb and fast food inside this very folder the next thing we need to do is we need to boot our phone into fast boot mode so first of all turn off your device and then once the device is turned off for me i have to press power and volume down together to boot it into fast boot mode the combination might be different for you so google is your best friend on how to boot your device into fast boot mode so here it is you can see power and volume down press and hold for me and the device has booted into fast boot mode at this point we are going to connect this to the computer using the usb cable 
Now back on the computer, we are still inside the folder where we have ADB, we have fast boot over here, we have system, we have VB meta. So all the files which we need are inside this folder. Next up, tap on the address bar, everything will be highlighted. Then type in CMD and press the enter key. This is going to open a command prompt window inside the very folder where we were. How can you check? Type in dir space slash p, press the enter key. There it is. You can see you have all the files which you need over here. So you have VB meta, you have your system file. Do note the extension is dot img for both the files. So make sure the extension is dot img and not dot img dot img. Then you also have ADB here and you also have fastboot over here. Next thing we need to do is check whether our device is being detected in fastboot mode or not. So the command for that is fastboot space devices and once you've entered the command press the enter key there it is you can see our device is being detected in fastboot mode. And with that let us have a look at the sponsor of the video ridge ridge wallet is a minimal wallet which can hold up to 12 cards and yes it can hold your cash as well available in 30 plus styles premium metal construction which means rfid blocking is available out of the box which makes it a must have for any nerd out there and this of course can be slimmer than your phone with the case but will always be slimmer than your existing leather wallet other than wallets ridge also makes bags cases so make sure you do check them out the website is linked in the description of the video use the coupon code munchy to get 10 percent off Next thing we need to do is flash a few more files or flash the files which we have transferred to this folder so i do recommend that you go back to your main folder and open this file which is your commands we can say edit it is going to open it by default in notepad and then we can also open our command prompt next up we need to flash the vb meta file which we had transferred so installation or flashing is as easy as you know just highlight all of this line the command and then say right click and say copy now you can go back to your command prompt window here and just right click it is going to paste the command just press the enter key and bam there it is you can see vb meta was flashed without any errors the next command we need to execute is to boot into fastboot d or fastboot dynamic mode and the command for that is fastboot reboot fastboot again standard process go to the commands file highlight the command make sure everything is highlighted right click copy it go back to the command prompt window and right click one more time it is going to paste it and once you have pasted it press the enter key and at this point your device is going to reboot now do note fastboot d requires special drivers so it might say waiting for device and if you have the drivers installed it will say finished if you do not have the drivers installed it will be stuck at waiting for device in which case you have to install the drivers how do you install the drivers video for that is linked in the description of this video i know it's a pain special drivers for fastboot d but we can always check whether our device is in fastboot d mode or not and again the command for that is fastboot get where is user space so again standard protocol we are going to highlight all the text and then we are going to paste it into our command prompt press the enter key there it is you can see is user space is mentioned as yes this means that we have successfully booted into fastboot d mode now based on your recovery twrp might show you a window with or a splash image with entering fast boot mode me i will show you it is in fast boot d mode devices which have their own custom recoveries or roms which have their own custom recoveries will show you that they are in fast boot d mode but this check here is the best way to know whether you are in fast boot d mode or not next thing you need to do is execute the command to erase your system so the command for that is fastboot erase system and again standard protocol 
highlight copy paste into command prompt press the enter key super important thing to note over here is if you get a slot so if you get system underscore a or system underscore b when you are erasing means you have a device with a b slots and note down this slot because you will have to plug it in the next command if you do not get any slot underscore a or underscore b then you do not have to worry about anything now the next command is to delete your logical partition of the product so if you had system underscore a or system underscore b show up when you were erasing it right then you have to put in product underscore a or product underscore b when you are doing the fast boot delete logical partition if you have a, a only device and you know it and when you were erasing the system nothing showed up just erasing system then you have to just say fast boot delete logical partition product that is it no underscore a or underscore b and then press the enter key and once that is done the next step is to flash the system image which we had transferred and again simple as highlighting everything copy go back to command prompt press the enter key it is going to flash the system and you will notice that it is flashing it to the slot which you had erased in case you have a device with a b slot if you have a device with only a slot then you do not have to worry about it you might get the message that invalid sparse header image or something like that totally normal absolutely fine nothing is wrong with your device now do note that it might take some time for the system partition to be flashed so you do have to be patient now once we have successfully flashed the system image if you are still in fast boot deep mode which you will obviously be we need to boot back into our recovery mode so the command for that is fast boot space reboot space recovery so this is going to take us back to our recovery and once you've entered the command press the enter key the device is going to reboot back into your recovery which could either be your custom recovery like twrp or the recovery of your custom rom or the recovery of your stock operating system say miui oxygen os whatever once you are in recovery you have to perform a wipe and a format data so for me i will go into wipe format data type in yes tap on the check mark on the bottom right do note format data will result in wiping out of all your pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device once that is done you can go into reboot and select system let us say you are running a custom rom which has their own recovery therein you can use the volume rockers to go through the different options and perform a wipe again perform a wipe from the stock recovery or the recovery of your rom or your custom recovery in this case twrp we performed a format data the important point i'm trying to make is that you have to perform the wipe from the recovery do not use fast boot commands to erase your user data and fast boot dash w because that is creating issues for me personally so i do not recommend that make sure once you have flashed your gsi the wipe is done from your recovery and you should be good to go once you have rebooted your device again as i mentioned at the beginning of the video the video is to show you how to flash a gsi and once you're getting into gsis you should also know that it is not necessary that each and every one of them is going to boot but you have successfully flashed a gsi and learned how to flash it on your device with a dynamic partition or with a super image and there it is peeps that is how you flash a gsi on an android device with a dynamic partition and a super slot whether you have it with a slot or a b slots and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you